Hello! Today we're going to paint a stargazer lily. These are so beautiful, elegant, such beautiful, elegant flowers. They have such um, gorgeous sort of rippling petals with um, pink and then these little dots um, pattern on them. I'm really excited to paint them. So I'm going to uh, start out with these colors. So we have titanium white, cadmium yellow medium, magenta, cadmium red, phthalo green, and yellow ochre. And then I toned my paper um, with a watered down acrylic wash. I used um, ultramarine blue and phthalo green for this color. And I'm going to start out with the petals. I have a couple photos up that on my desktop that I'm looking at. I'm going to start out making a medium pink. And uh, let's see what the magenta looks like. Just plain magenta. I think I'm going to add just a touch of my red because um, they're a little bit more of a warm pink. So let's go with that. And then we can add um, some darker and lighter areas um, afterwards, but this will be kind of our base color. Then I think I'll add just a touch of water so that it'll flow a little bit more. And I'm thinking of doing three. I think that will fill the space nicely and um, we'll have enough room to get there because they kind of open wide. And so I don't want to cram the space with too many flowers. They do have kind of longer petals. Um, let's see. Or I might even do two and hint at a third. I think that might be a better plan because even just thinking about the space like this, we could probably use up the page mostly like that and then have another one sort of coming out from behind. Okay, so I'm going to start here. And I'm going to have my first petal kind of bend. And their petals can go any which way. They do all kinds of crazy curves and fluttery edges. It's really fun. So we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with that. Um, and I'm gonna just wiggle <laughs> wiggle my brush, and um, then we'll have it connect right in there. And I'm just gonna feel out how many petals we can really fit in here. They um, let me see how many they've got. Well, they have six that are really like obvious. Um, and then there, I think there's more maybe tucked underneath, but I'm not gonna get super technical about that. I think that um, uh, we'll just kind of um, go with whatever looks good. I'm not gonna worry about a super specific number on these because it's more about getting the feeling of the flower for this particular one. And I don't feel like the feeling of the flower depends on an exact number of petals like it does for some other flowers. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do one right here and they have, um, they can kind of bend down. So this one, we're seeing sort of the width of it and then it's sort of curling under. Mm. Let's see. This one I think is gonna go underneath a little bit. And when they curl under, there's kind of, um, they're sort of folded or like they have a sort of a lower like trough in the middle of the petal. And so you kind of see that as they fold over and then start going away from us. So we have sort of this little like dip there in the middle. And 
And then that one, I think it's going to be underneath these two. So I'll kind of repaint those to, so I can see an edge. Let's see. I'm going to have one here and it's going to curl under too. Um, and so we're going to kind of see that sort of trough thing going on there. we go. And I think we're going to have one kind of curling under and um, going behind there. From right here. And then that's going to kind of tuck in in there. Okay. We'll kind of put that front edge in front again a little bit. And then we'll define the edges of all these a lot more as we go. Um, I feel like this one actually is not quite long enough. It's It feels kind of like all these are stopping. Um, they are all stopping at the same place. And so I want this one to extend a little bit lower. I need to make it a little wider right there. Maybe we'll just hint at that kind of going more that way. Okay. <laughs> that one got a little bit wide, I think, but we'll just deal with that. <laughs> okay, and I think I need to make some more color and it looks like we're really, this one's going to be kind of the focal point and then we're going to have hints of other ones tucked around because it got pretty big, which is fine. They, um, they're big and bold and um, kind of lar large-ish flowers. So I feel like this is about life size. So we're just going to make some more of the pink and we're going to go on. I'm looking at some of my other... Um, my other photos and I feel like this one might we could actually just make it curl I think I like that might look a little bit better there okay for this one it's just going to kind of go off the edge of the page so I'm going to one petal go there. Have another one. Go there. And we'll have one kind of curl down. We'll have one kind of go up and behind here. We'll just sort of just sort of tuck it underneath. There we go. I feel like this is a really pretty pink we got here. <laughs> I feel like just putting it on this for fun. Incorporating it a little bit. And okay, so we're gonna need. I'm just thinking how we want to arrange this one. I think we'll have its petal kind of curl, curl under there. So that's kind of coming out from behind. Maybe we'll just add a little white to kind of help show that front edge. 
and then um, I think we might need another one. Um, I think I'll do it somewhere up in here. Maybe we'll just have it kind of curling, just like a little, a little hint of one right there. Or maybe it could be a little bit higher. There, I feel like that makes more sense. And then this one will kind of come in front and I'll just put a little white there to help me see that edge. I might have that one also kind of look like it's starting to curve. Okay, well this is getting kind of wild over here. That's kind of neat. <laughs> so we have all these shapes. Um, you know what? I feel like I don't really need a third one. I think we might use some leaves and some buds to kind of um, make a third element in the painting. So we'll kind of have two flowers and then a third one. I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to leave it at that. Now there's a darker area in the center of each petal and then there's white, like a right, a white sort of ruffly edge at the edge of each petal. So we're going to build up the darker colors and then we'll add the white and then we'll add the little spotted details. And then we have centers um, to the flowers to add all the, um, stamens and um so anyway that is sort of the order i think we're going to work in so i'm going to do the darker areas next i'm going to switch to my small brush because i think every everything else is basically a small sort of a thing maybe until we get back to the the leaves we might use the big brush for the leaves so there is a generally darker kind of patch in the center and there's like a, a real defined center a center line that's a really dark reddish pink um so we're gonna use magenta and red and let's try to make kind of a medium a medium pink that will go down the center of each petal first and that's really intense so we're gonna add some white and see what that turns into And on some of them, I see this really beautiful balance between a very cool magenta color, a cool pink, and then really warm, warm reddish pink tones. So I love that. I kind of want to incorporate some of that. So right now, we're going to just go for the warm, and then we might bring in some of that magenta if I think that there's still some space on the petals for that. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick look at my photos again and see how to place the dark. So really, it's kind of, you know, it's a little bit wider at the base and then it just kind of goes down the center of each of each petal. And the colored part doesn't this this darker reddish pink doesn't really like have a ruffly edge. It looks pretty smooth to me. So we're just going to follow kind of a smooth path and then just start out a little bit wider and then we'll just get a little thinner and I'm gonna bring it all the way to the very tip of the petal. So we'll just get pretty thin and we'll just bring it all the way to the very tip and just a little thin line. There we go. And then we'll do the same. I'm going to do all the all the uh, petals that are on the top. So there's kind of a trio, like two there and then one there that are sitting on top. And then there's those three that come from underneath. I want to do my best to kind of follow the shape of the petal so that it um, looks like it's an actual... part of, of the petal and not, um, you know, fighting against the edges. I'm 
let me see for this one I think it'll go kind of kind of like that whoops whoa I just flung some paint there I think it was a lot more wet than I thought that's okay we'll help that part out in just a second um, there I think that's okay all right I guess that'll just be part of our dark area there And so this is kind of coming out from underneath these other two petals. And for the petals that are um, kind of have this tip, this little um, dip to them, that dip is like the center line. So that's where we want this dark pink to go to and then just stop. So then we'll bring this one around. Okay, and then same thing for this one. It's going to follow that middle line to the dip. Okay, now let's go ahead and do that same thing for this one. I think these two and that one are going to be my center top three. Hopefully we'll have enough of this red. We'll see if we get all the way, get all the way through with it or if we might need to mix some more. we're about to run out. Okay, I'm going to make some more. So we just have magenta, red. It was definitely more on the red side. And then we'll bring in some whites. Let's see. That looks about right. Gotta kind of figure out how this one is curling. So we'll just kind of make it go there. Let it disappear behind that top petal and that one there. And then this one is coming up. There. Okay, so now let's think what the next step is going to be. I think we're going to do some more of that magenta, the, the more intense magenta. So let's see what would look nice. I'm going to just use white and then just pure magenta. I want to see if I can get something that is a cooler pink that will contrast with the, all these warmer tones and just add a little a little stroke of it here or there um, for a fun contrast. Now that's really similar in value. So we might, I'm going to get some more magenta. We might need to make it lighter or darker. I'm not quite sure, but let's put out some more and then so on, in my different reference photos I have up, I'm just looking at them for various shapes the flowers can take and then different shades of colors because there are differences between the photos. And one of them has this really intense, dark sort of magenta that's 
around the edges of these darker parts. And so I think that might be kind of fun. Ooh, look at that. See that difference? Um, how this cooler pink really kind of stands out from that, that really warm pink. Let's try that and see how that looks. So this really would just be kind of right along the edges of these darker patches because I don't want to cover up all the lighter pink. So let's, let's see, we'll just kind of just do a couple little strokes. That's kind of fun. Doesn't have to really be anywhere in particular, just kind of a little a little touch here or there. Just this kind of a fun accent color. Yeah, I kind of like that. Just kind of following the edges of these red, the more red centers. I feel like the red, um, the red value up against this lighter pink is really nice. And I think the, the lighter pink got a little too dark in some of these areas. So, or in, in this lower one, cause I had to remix, remix that, um, that petal color. So it didn't get quite as light as I think it should. So I'm going to come back after this magenta and kind of fix that a little bit so then our um our dotted pattern will really stand out from that lighter pink because they're just this is very low contrast and I think it needs some help I kind of like that having it come from the very center kind of radiate from there so yeah that's pretty that's nice it just adds a little bit of more variety within our pink so that it's not reading all the same and so now I'm gonna make that lighter pink color so I'm just gonna bring some white over here see what we get I think we'll probably need some magenta so maybe I'll just pull this over because this was more red than anything else It's pretty light. So we'll get it just a little tad darker. Okay, let's try that. There, I think that's really nice. Kind of just touch up those those edges a little bit. And white is also going to go along these edges. So the white might end up kind of covering up some of this, but I mean, it will definitely cover up some of it, but hopefully not all of it. There. Then I'll kind of use this and thicken up the pink if there's areas. I could see the pink starting to show through as this, or the green, sorry, the, the green show through as this pink was drying. So I'm going to just touch up an area or two if it looks like that pink was getting too transparent.
There. I think that's pretty good. So now we're ready for the line down the center and the white on the edges. Um, I think the line, the line is going to be darker. So let's go ahead and do the light and then we can kind of get into the dark after, um, after the really light edges, we'll do the dark line and then the little speckles. Oh, the speckles actually, mm, the speckles might actually be the very last thing we do after the stamen and everything, but let's go ahead and do that line. So it's going to be more, uh, more magenta, more red. We're just going to aim for a darker color than the, the kind of darkest patch we did. Definitely, definitely a reddish color. I think that's pretty good. I think I'll do a little bit more magenta, get it slightly darker. There. Okay, now I'm going to add some water to help it kind of flow off my brush. I want it to be able to, to stay pretty thin. So it's just going to travel all the way down the center of the petals just sort of a center vein. Even if it isn't coming off, see this is mixing a little bit, my paint's still kind of wet. Even if it doesn't come off perfectly, it's okay because you're kind of hinting at it and it doesn't have to be one solid really dark line. You can just kind of hint that there's a center line. And that's fine. These ones up here are much more dry than those lower ones. These look kind of weird right now. This is like the, the weird sort of middle part before you have all the details that really need to be there. And so it's just looking very strange. And some, some of the petals I see sort of have a double line and I like how that looks. Kind of having a, a twin line. So I might go back and add that in on the other places. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. Whoops. Oh, I don't think I, I think I just landed in my paint palette and didn't mess up the painting. Whew. I'll just kind of hint at two here and there. Doesn't have to be two the whole way along, but sort of maybe in the middle where it's the widest. There. That works. I think that's fine. I'm going to leave it just at that. Now we'll go ahead and do the white. Now the white is going to be so fun. It's so bold along those edges. And we can really um, play up the ruffliness of the edges because the white, the very, very edges are where the extra amount of, of uh, ripply, you know, ripply, ruffly edges. Okay, so let's get some white. I'm actually probably going to move, I'm trying to split it up because I know this is going to get pink in, mixed in eventually, so I don't want to mix that up with my entire um, pile of white there. Okay, so the white begins. We're going to do our three kind of dominant petals first. And it can be ruffly almost the entire way. So I'm going to play up the ruffle maybe near the beginning a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. And not all of them have to be super ruffly. Some of them can be much more understated.
go back and kind of smooth that out a little bit. Okay, so then we'll do this one next. Let's give it a try. Oops, it's just kind of going the opposite way. There we go, we'll just leave it at that. Let's see if I can get a little bit more wiggly there. a little bit more crazy. <laughs> and then the white is really along the edges so it's gonna stop right there as the petal kind of curves away from us. Last one on this one. There. Then I'll kind of fix up this petal because it's going in front and I don't want it to um, lose that impression. Okay, here we go. Next one. So we'll get some more white. I think that turned out really really fun and it's fine I don't mind if the pink is mixing with the white because it's not always pure white at those at those ends or on the on the edges it's um it can definitely be kind of pinkish too okay so let's do this one We'll just keep working our way and getting all in the zone and not talking very much. <laughs> so we're going to bring it there. Okay, and then we'll just do this last one. There we go. So if the outlining is hard, if you're finding it hard, um, you can always add some white to your paint, um, or not white, sorry, some water to your paint to help it flow off your brush a little bit more. There we go. Okay. I'm just looking around to see if anything pops out at me like, ooh, it needs some work. I think that's pretty good. So we're just gonna leave it at that. So now I think we'll do the stamens and then we'll do the sort of the dots and then the leaves and the buds. So we're gonna do, I'm kind 
of a light green yellow. I'm gonna just bring some white right over to my, um, or bring some yellow right over to my white. And then we're also gonna just get a little bit of green, a little bit of ochre. Let's see what that turns into. That's a pretty light, light green. So I think we're gonna use a little bit of white in there. There, I think that's gonna have such pretty contrast. Look at that. Okay, so what these flowers have is they have one really long um, center part that's called a stigma. And it um, it's not a stamen, it's just sort of the center, a center piece with like a little nubby thing at the end. And then it's surrounded by long stamens, but the stigma is the longest part. And I'm going to do that first to kind of establish the length of everything. Looks like there's about five or six stamens surrounding it. Okay, so I'm adding some water to this and I'm gonna do my best to get a pretty thin line. And this is gonna be tricky, so if you have a smaller brush, you can definitely use that. I generally try to do my thinner lines with this size of brush, so we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to decide which way I want my flower to face because it's it's kind of could go either way. Its center could kind of be going this way or it could be going that way. I think mm, I think because I want I want it to kind of face towards the middle of the painting. So I think I'm gonna have it go this way, just slightly. Okay. I'm, I'm working at my courage. <laughs> okay, so the, the um, stigma, I'm gonna have it go like about that far. So we're just gonna drag real quick. It was not perfect, but that's fine. We're not going for perfect. We're going for something that looks sort of like a line. <laughs> And then, okay, so then the stamens, they're kind of funny. They kind of grow inwards and then come out like about at this level. So they're all really bunched together at like for about this much and then they kind of come out but shorter than the center stigma. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of wing it. So we're gonna go one, two, Three, four, and then one's kind of kind of be um, in the front, but ending somewhere around in here. So like five. Let's have let's have this one go. And that I think parted ways a little too soon. But that's okay, we'll just leave it. Okay, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna leave that. I think that's all right. Let's go ahead and do this one. It might be kind of fun to have it go the opposite way. I'm just gonna have it stigma go crazy over there. And there'll kind of be one in the front. Okay, and then something that I'm noticing is this green actually is on the on the petals too. Just a little stroke of it kind of comes out from the center, not very far. So I'm going to just stroke it like that. Just kind of is on that center line. And you just see a little bit of it. And I'm not gonna really do it there because that's gonna interfere with that, those stamens there. There. 
And I think I want this one to kind of go a little bit more pointed, so I'll drag that one out a bit more. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that's fine. I think I'm going to do a little um, tip on the uh, on the end of the stigma. I'm going to get a little bit of a darker green, a little bit more ochre. It's just like a little bit of a darker thing on the end. And I'm just going to kind of do a little dash like that. And that's going to be it. It's more detailed than that, but I'm not going to worry about it for our purposes. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and make a color. So that um, it's called the anther, which is the part the part that has the pollen on the end of each of the stamens. We're going to make a lovely brown. So it's like this rich, beautiful red brown color. So we're going to use red, and we're going to use a little bit of green. And those two together will make a brown. And if there's more red than green, it's going to make a red brown. There we go. But, well, that might be enough. I was thinking, but I might not have made enough. But let's go ahead and do that. We'll just add a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. So then the, um, the anthers are just like little oval little tops to our stamens and they kind of curve they're like a little a little curved shape that's just like topping each one they kind of like <laughs> lean whatever direction they go um, whichever direction the stamen goes so we're going to just do that it doesn't have to be anything super special it's just going to be a little line like that there we go and I'm going to do one down here to kind of be the f the one that's in front and it's kind of coming towards us. So it's sort of foreshortened looking. Um, actually, I feel like that is a little too low. I'm going to make it a little higher. And um, yeah, that's fine. I'm also going to make one back here. I was just noticing in the photos, it makes sense that there's one there. So I'm going to um, come back and draw the stamen going towards that one. And maybe I think I'm going to hint at one right there. I think that will look better. I'm going to come back and kind of connect all of those and make them all have a little, a little stamen coming to them um, in a minute. one right there too. I'm trying to balance kind of have it look visually balanced so I might add one more right there. There. I think that's good. So then I'll come back with my light green and kind of connect a few of those. The sun is getting us. There we go. Have it be a little easier to see. Okay, so then we're going to have that. And then that one will have a little connection there. We'll kind of connect that little guy up there. And then that one there. There. I think that's perfect. Okay, we're on to the spots, which is going to be really exciting. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to those. Um, it's kind of, kind of, I think I'm going to make it more of a magenta color, kind of reddish magenta. So mostly magenta and maybe we'll, maybe we'll just kind of mix it in here. I think that's perfect, actually. That should show up. And, um... We're gonna just do tiny little dashes. I think instead of actual spots, little dashes will help kind of 
go um, visually kind of help the, the flow of each petal. So we're gonna do, let's, let's start on one that's not as obvious. <laughs> what I like to do is um, if I'm trying something new and I need to kind of perfect my technique, I'll pick one that's more out of the way, not the very first thing you look at when you look at the painting. So let's come down here. Now, they radiate from this middle part in two sections, kind of right there and right there. And they don't cover the entire petal. They don't go in that middle portion. They kind of are in the, on the sides, just maybe halfway down the petal, maybe like a third. I think it's more like a third of the way up, down the petal. So um, just as that for reference, we don't have to do them as you know specific as that, but I'm just, it's good to know, and then you can kind of play within that. So I think that is pretty, pretty good. I almost want this to be slightly darker. I'm gonna pull just a little bit of green, I think. Maybe I'll just bring some of this brown. Let's do that. It's like, I like that, but I, I want it to be just, have a, have a bit more impact than that red's having, or the magenta. There, but I don't want it, I don't want it to read as brown really, but maybe we can't really avoid that. There, we'll make it a little bit more pinky. Okay, so now, here we go in this out of the way spot. I've gotta go over those now. <laughs> there, I think that is showing up a little bit better. Yeah, okay, so then we'll go ahead and just kind of do a similar thing on this side. We'll come a little bit further down. I think that's perfect. Okay, so then we're gonna do that same thing over here. Really for little details like this, I try not to sweat them too much. Like I try not to worry about getting them all like super specific or in the perfect place. Cause really we're just sort of hinting at what's there. We're not painting nearly as many as what are on the actual flower. There's probably like 50, <laughs> 50 dots on each of these petals. And I'm doing maybe, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, like, maybe 10 on each side of the petal. So we're just going to hint at it. And as we, you know, as our eye looks at the painting, we understand, yes, it had spots on it. And we don't have to um, worry about getting the perfect number or anything like that. It's more just like the impression of it being spotted. There. And then that one is so hidden back there and, and it has all these stamens in front of it. I don't think I really want to do any spots on that one. So, um, cause I think it'll be, it would get kind of visually confusing. So we'll just skip it and go on to this one. I think I'm going to stop them right there because I don't want them to start overlapping all that much with the um, the stamens and getting kind of, again, getting kind of visually confusing. Maybe like one little guy to kind of trail it off. And I'm just going to skip that other side. Sometimes it's better just to, to keep things 
you know, simplified so our eyes can understand more of what's going on and we'll never really miss that they're not actually painted on there. I do want a little bit right here. Maybe we'll just do just a few there, maybe like one there. I think actually if we like stick to right in that little empty space, then we'll understand that that's what's going on. Oh, and then we forgot this one. Okay, so now as I'm looking at the stamens, I kind of want to just streak a little bit of lighter green to um, at the base to kind of help separate, or maybe a darker green. Actually, I think I'll do a darker green instead of a lighter green. It's really just personal choice, but I think darker green will maybe communicate a little better. So just a little bit here and there to kind of help us see that there's some separation there. There, I think that's fine. There, okay, I think that's really all it needed, maybe one, uh, one more there. There. Okay, so now we're just gonna do some leaves and some buds and there we go. Um, they just have these long, beautiful, elegant leaves and their buds are really fun. They're kind of, um, well, you know what? I feel like, a, I almost feel like the bud could go like kind of behind. Hmm, I'm debating buds or just leaves because I feel like the buds will be also Kind of distracting almost more than I would want. You know what? I think we're just going to do leaves in this one. And I want to do kind of a darker green for them. I'm just sort of imagining and thinking, I think I'll, I'll uh, I think I'll go back to my big brush. And then we'll make, we'll just add some dark green and some yellow ochre. just kind of have sort of a flowy shape. It really doesn't have to be something super in particular, but we'll just kind of do they kind of have a longer elegant shapes to their leaves. So maybe I'll have that kind of going that way. And there. Maybe we'll have a little hint of something there. These are just so bold. I don't know if I really want to do much more. Um, much more, you know, details going on to kind of distract from them. So I think we'll just keep it subtle. I changed my mind, <laughs> I, as I often do, as I'm sure you're used to me doing by now. I think I will do a bud because they are higher, like in the um, like true way that these plants grow, they are higher than the plants, the, the flowers. And I think that would actually be kind of a pretty thing to do. So um, I'm just gonna use this kind of yellowy, um, it's like white, yellow, ochre mostly with a little bit of green. And we're just going to put in a bud. 
bud shape, like right there. And it's going to kind of go behind. But they have sort of ribs on the outside, like lines where they have sections growing together. So it's kind of nice that we have some lines on there from the paint. And you know what I think? I think I'll do a hint of one here. Because they grow, they have more than one usually if there's buds. There's like a couple showing up. So I think I'll do one right here. I think it just needed, I like this lighter element. We'll say that. And something about the leaves wasn't sitting quite right with me. So we're going to make these more of a focal point. Here we go. And the green's streaking in, but that's okay. They have colors sort of streaked on them naturally. So I'm not going to worry about that. And then we can have like a little stem. And we'll give these little guys sort of a little bit of a stem going up. And um, there, and then we'll just grab some of the green. We're just gonna kind of um, drag it to create like a little crease, sort of in the in the bud. There, and maybe a little yellow ochre. These can be pretty expressive. I'm just gonna kind of drag those colors to show that there are those little. Um, it's like little ribs. There, that actually really makes me happy. And I like this lighter yellow, a yellowy green. So I think I'm going to um, mute it a little bit and then sort of uh, use that as a highlight on some of the leaves. Kind of echo what we have going on in the, in the buds, but not make it look like these are the exact same color as the buds. I'm really happy with that. And of course, I change my mind all the time and I'm not sorry. Because <laughs> I feel like a lot of the painting process is pretty intuitive. You just kind of have to get there and then see what you think. And if you're like, oh, I'm gonna go with this plan, then you get there and you go, nope, don't like it, I'm gonna change it. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. There we go. And I, um, I'm trying to think if I want anything there, but actually, I think that's lovely. I'm gonna leave this blue, this greenish blue, because I think that's a really, just a pretty sort of element that we can see the wash and admire that in that negative space. Okay, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and for following along. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye for now.